Oh my goodness, you guys, I have been inundated with requests um, for a setup video of this planner ever since I showed it. Um, this is the Paper Chase Dreamscape planner, which I was very kindly given as a gift. Um, but they unfortunately no longer have it on their website, so I don't know if they still do it. But they do all the other um, accessories like sticky notes and washi tapes and everything to... Um, to match it so there isn't really much to show you that's different from my other uh, setup video that I did when I was in my Morden because um, I have planner piece with my system um, the planner piece thing isn't about the actual planner it's more about the system for me um, that being said, I love this planner. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but there is no pen loop. And I didn't realise that the very first time I um, I looked at it, but there is no pen loop. And I did sort of tweet paper chase and complain about it, and they just said sorry. Um, so that is the only bug bit. So um, other than that, I'm really loving it. And I'll just kind of talk you, uh, talk you through it. So... If you remember in my model, I said I was using it as a uh, also like as a wallet purse as well. I am using this one in the same way. I don't have all my cards, and I also have like a coin purse that I use. And sometimes I just slip my bank card out of there and put it in my coin purse when I'm just nipping to the shops or something. So I've been keeping some of my cards in here. The card pockets. Um, are really easy to slip the cards in and out of as you can see so that's pretty darn cool I have been using this pocket for re inserts and things it has stretched though um, because I've been po popping bits and pieces in there I've noticed it's stretched the ring size is not um, the rings are not as sort of wide as the Filofax so this what I've got in here is the same stuff that I had in my Filofax um, only it doesn't fit on the rings quite so well and I need to slimline some of my stuff because I don't know if you can see but it is starting to kind of I mean the metal bit isn't flush with the planner and it's starting to sort of kind of come away a little bit more so I just need to watch that and be careful um, so it is sort of fairly fairly stuffed but that's kind of what I had on in my modern so Yes, uh, so no planner, um, sorry, so no pen loop, so as you can see, I made a dashboard um, out of the coordinating paper, uh, Paper Chase sell, as I said, coordinating accessories like tape and sticky notes, and they had um, paper and everything, so I bought myself some of the coordinating paper, and I made myself a dashboard to go here, because I just thought it looked really nice as it's matching, and I bought um, one of the lectern, I don't know how you say it, one of the lectern um, sticky medubery pen loops. So that's what's keeping my pen on there. It is in back to front, um, upside down, because <laughs> I'm a bit of a noodle like that. But um, yes, it seems to be working okay. This is a paper chase pen. Um, and it's nice, you know, fits in there nicely. So that's kind of how we're getting over the whole pen loop situation. Is just having that. So I keep covering my bank card up because um, I do have some bank cards in there, and I'll cover that up a bit more, and then I can show you a bit. Okay, so I've covered my card up now. <laughs> Didn't think this through. So you can see um, in kind of like in real life how I'm using it. So I'm keeping like some cards down here, like the ones I use all the time, like I'm always in Waitrose and my bank cards and stuff, although they're down in my little purse. And then um, here I've got this. This is from Firefax and it's just got some more, that's another loyalty card, but it's got more bank cards in there and some more loyalty cards and stuff. And other than that, that's exactly the same as I was using my uh, Malden. Nothing else has changed. I also made myself some matching dividers because I thought it would look really cute <laughs> to have all my dividers in the same um, pattern. So that's what I've done there. So at the beginning of the year I was poorly 
and I never got round to um, printing off any of my own inserts. As you know, I usually, uh, you know, I make and design my own inserts, and I usually use them. I was poorly at the beginning of the year. Oh, that's my chair squeaking. Sorry. Um, I was poorly at the beginning of the year, and I never got round to printing off my inserts for this year. And as this planner already came with the um, paper chase inserts I decided to just go ahead and just use them for a while and I've never used paper chase inserts so I thought I'd go ahead just use them for a while and see how I was getting on with them as you know I'm on the design team for Webster's pages and I'm waiting for my colour crush planner to get here so I'm kind of in between at the moment so um, just using these inserts for now and when I move into my Colour Crush planner I will be using this planner for something else because it's beautiful um, it will not go to waste none of my planners ever do um, so yeah so I'm using them and they're okay the paper quality is alright you know it's quite nice there's no bleed through or I mean I just use biro anyway um, yeah, they're all right. I don't. I personally don't like them, and I wouldn't continue using them. Um, I personally don't care much for lined pages. I've really got into. I've been using grid pages um, of lately, and I'm really into my grids at the moment. Um, so I'm not like terribly fond of the lined. And even though some of our weekends lately there hasn't been that much going on. I'm not a massive planner, uh, lover of the the Saturday and Sunday being half the size of the week. Because, um, you know, like I do stuff at the weekends as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I'm using it. And everything else in here is exactly the same as when I did my setup video of my Malden. I, it's taken me... Um, oh gosh, it's taken me a while now to come to a system that I really like and now I found a system that I like I'm not in a position to want to change it um, so that's how it's working for me at the moment so I know it's been like highly requested this video and I am just going to talk now for a minute because so, if you like the video no no I'm only joking um, yeah so it's been a highly requested video and I hope it wasn't as kind of so it's been a highly requested video and you know I know there isn't really much to talk about or show you because I'm using it in exactly the same way as I use my as I've been using my planner. So there isn't any sort of groundbreaking setup to show you particularly. Um I made myself a matching page marker. I didn't show you that, did I? Hang on. Got a matching page marker that I made as well. So other than the fact that it's there's no pen loop. And I've made myself the dashboard page and divisors and everything. Not much to show you using the paper chase inserts. But you guys wanted to see, so show you I be doing. Um, yeah, it's pretty planner. Is a pretty planner. First paper chase planner I have ever used. Um, and I think it's very pretty. I really like the detail on the inside. I think that's gorgeous. And I'm really... I think it's beautiful as I say the rings are quite small um, but you know just don't put so much stuff in I don't really know what else to say really or to show you so there we go that's my um, set up little brief overview of my uh, paper chase planner and how I'm using it so thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon bye, bye.